Hello and welcome to Stuff They Should Have Taught You In School and I am of course your host Mr Monsui. Right, a quick thank you to all listeners and subscribers and if you are listening please consider subscribing and also to everyone out there please consider sharing this to anyone you think that may it may help. So, I would like to do a quick disclaimer to just say that, you know, this is done in one take and uh, there may be some slip ups or some long pauses and things like that. Anyway, today's episode is, I think it's quite, I think it's much needed and maybe I should have done this sooner because for those of you that are not listening sort of in about or thereabouts real time, um, at the time of recording we are in a global pandemic. Uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus has basically been about for almost a year now. It's February 2021 and we had our first lockdown in the UK in March 2020. There's a lot of people out there that have lost their jobs, unfortunately. A lot of people out there have lost loved ones, unfortunately. A lot of people out there are struggling day to day with um, with, any, with anything really, you know, finding the will to do something, uh, especially when you have been out of work and there's no routine there and you just got nothing to do really all day, so you're not allowed to go out really, all you're doing, all a lot of people are doing are sort of sitting at home and watching TV most of the day and uh, people are sliding into depression, they're generally not feeling that great. So, slumps. I know that I've had quite a few during the last year, and I'm sure people have had many, sometimes people maybe have less, but sometimes with me personally they have lasted for days and sometimes even weeks. I've spoken to some people out there that have uh, naturally cycle in and out of slumps or just in and out of not feeling that great and not having that get up and go attitude or get out of attitude. But today, hopefully, I can give you some tips uh, on how to get out of a slump so that you can. I mean, everyone goes into slumps, but these tips will hopefully help you get out of the slump quicker. It's worth stating that sometimes, you know, we we slide into. Uh, a slump uh, and then because we are in a slump we take certain actions that actually put us further into the slump and it becomes a negative downward spiral what do they call it um self something uh self sabotage a self sabotaging cycle or something like that um, for example, maybe you feel bad because you didn't get things done in the day, so you have some drinks, you eat a load of crap, you stay up a bit too late, and then the next day, same thing happens. You get up late, you feel like crap, you still don't get things done, and then you're like, oh, I feel like shit, maybe just that one beer, two beers will help me, or maybe beer is not your po- poison, maybe it's crack, but no, I'm just joking there. Um, yeah, so... A lot of people can have that sort of cycle where you do a certain action that pushes you into a position where you will do that same action again, or that negative action. Anyway, let's get through these. And I have got maybe, what, six or seven, eight tips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tips for you. Wow, lucky. Hold on one second, an alarm is just going off. Right, anyway. Sorry about that. But I think the, my, my first tip is I'll, I'll go through all the tips and then I'll just go through them again to recap. So, tip number one is to accept it accept you are in a slump and we are only human but then you say to yourself what can i do to make myself feel better 
I know I'm not in the best pace place right now, but what can I do? I'm not operating at my optimum, but what can I do to bring myself up? Maybe stretching, exercise, meditation, etc. Tip number two, start journaling and include in that journal every day three to five things you are thankful for. It could be as simple as I'm thankful that I woke up this morning. I'm thankful that, you know, I have my eyesight, I have my hearing, whatever. Um, Number three, list out all the things that you need to do or that are worrying you. So this is also a bit of a stress management technique. I think sometimes people slide into slumps because they've got a lot of stuff on and it's sort of too much it's overwhelming and then what do they do stick their head in the sand and then nothing gets done so and they feel bad about it every day but still nothing gets done so can we do here just list out everything that's on your mind okay next tip make schedule and make a day for yourself just to chill out just to relax Pamp yourself, maybe have a bath, eating good food, relaxing. I actually find that having a routine of shaving, cutting my uh, my fingernails and my toenails is actually somewhat therapeutic and it actually helps with that self-care. And just to have that, oh, sorry about that, um, just to have that there every few weeks or every week I shave, every few weeks I'll do certain other things. Um, I try to every other week at least have a bath. Just I do I shower every day, but a bath is something different. It's just to pamper yourself, relax, you know, do something for yourself. Next tip: think about your goals. Maybe make a vision board, or even make some goals if you don't have any. Find something to look forward to, so you sacrifice a little something now for something much greater later. Next tip: exercise regularly. Exercise has so many benefits, we know this, and even, and regular better has even, uh, regular exercise is even better for you in so many ways, and if you are in the slump right now and you thought, okay, for the next one week, all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk once in the morning, once in the evening, for 20 minutes each time, I guarantee you, you'll feel uh, better after that one oh after just one week and that sort of brings me on to my next tip spend some time in nature again nature's got so many benefits so many benefits from like calming your anxiety and this stuff happening in your brain that stuff happening I'm not exactly a scientist I'm not going to go through it all but there's there are many benefits to that okay tip number what is this number uh, eight tip number eight Plan your next week, next month, next year, or even just the next day. When you plan, you're setting something in your brain saying like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And there's a structure there. You see, like when you're at work, you have a structure, don't you? You get in at a certain time, you do this at a certain time, you have lunch maybe at a certain time, and then you go home at a certain time. So make your own plan for that. Make your own plan in lockdown. And um, next tip, uh, this one might sound a bit weird, but it will probably help. Um, make your bed every morning and have a cold shower every morning. Right, so this one is, a lot of people think, like, oh, what, what is making my bed it's got to do with anything? But what it is, is you're practicing willpower. You're doing something regularly for yourself. So that you you finish sleep, you make your bed, you start the day, you come back, your bed's already ready. And uh, you don't get into a messy bed. I mean, you can look at thousands of YouTube videos, thousands of entrepreneurs, thousands of CEOs that do this. Start their day with that small win. And it builds willpower day by day. You build willpower. You say to yourself, I would say to myself, Monsui, you will do this. And Monsui, we'll do that. One, two, I will do X, and then I will do X. Okay, cold shower. 
Right, this is probably what is um, making you guys feel a bit scared, but don't worry, don't feel that scared. I'm not saying just slap yourself up and then in the morning just go straight into a ice cold shower. No. Start your shower warm, normal temperature, and then just try and uh, put it on cold or um, if if cold is way too cold for you then you know you can do maybe like 75% cold, 50% cold or something like that and uh, sort of just go in and out a little bit, try and spend like 5-10 seconds, it will mess you up a little bit, you'll be like <laughs> I, I still do it even though I've, I have cold shower pretty much every morning now for some time but it really does like shock your system and you feel ready for the day you know, you you're you've made your bed. You're ready for the. You, uh, you've made your bed. You had a cold shower. Get changed. Have some good food in the morning. You're ready for the day. No slump for you today, my good sir or madam. Right. Last tip. Get a routine. Right. Routine is just so important. And even if you don't follow your routine every single day, every single minute, it's still like the way I describe it to people is basically you have like you have a line where you're like okay this is what i should be doing and then when you journal you write you know have i done this or not or you like can basically write out you know how have i done it how have i not done it what can i do better next time so that i can do those things you have that line yeah most people don't have a line but if you have a line and you follow the line 80 percent uh even if you follow the line 50 percent of the time and then you had that line, basically, you slip like everyone does. We all slip, you know, you slip off that line, come back to it the next day, come back to it, even after a week of slipping off it, come back to it. And just by having that line, which most people don't have, you will improve, you will get better. You will be like, okay, look, I'm gonna make my bed every day. I'm gonna do this, um, have a cold shower, have some good food, uh, you know, maybe exercise, do some reading, maybe take up a new hobby, having that routine, it will have tremendous results. And if you don't believe me, try it for 28 days, or try it for a month. See how much better you feel when you have a routine. You have that regimen, you say, it means you're living your life with purpose. You're not just going and letting life happen to you. You are taking life by the balls as it were. And you're saying, this is what I'm doing. And even, if you don't do it every single time, every single day, every single minute of the day, you're not on exactly your routine, don't beat yourself up. As long as you do it, I would say maybe 70, 80% of the time, you're still gonna get amazing results. And even if you did it, you know, 50% of the time, you still get results that you would not have got if you had no routine. Anyway, try, if you are in a slip, in a, in a slump, try these tips, and I'll go through them one more time for you just uh, for the sake of it really. Tip number one, accept you in a slump. We're only human, but then say, what can I do to make myself feel better? Tip number two, start journaling. Start writing things that you are grateful for, three to five things a day. Tip number three, list out all the things that you need to do or that are worrying you. Number four, make a day for yourself just to chill and have no obligations or nothing. Uh, number five, think about your goals. Maybe make a vision board or make the goals if you don't have any. Number six, exercise regularly. Number seven, spend time in nature. Number eight, plan your next week, month or even just plan tomorrow. Number nine, make your bed in the morning and have a cold shower. Number 10, get a routine and try and stick to it most of the time. I think just one more thing I would add on to that cold shower thing is that I actually find personally that when I've had a late night for whatever reason and I I find that I want to have a cold shower even more when I have a late night because it just like wakes me up and like gets me ready for strong strong coffee and a cold shower and you're ready for the day so have a cold shower 
I've actually even heard people do basically, so say you've had a cold shower every morning, that's part of your morning routine. I've heard people that what they do is they have a cold shower at 3, 4 o'clock, 3, 4 p.m., which somehow tricks, basically tricks the brain into thinking the day started again, and then you've got that. Because a lot of people slump in about 3, 4 o'clock from the carb coma at lunch, and for other reasons, but um, you sort of trick your brain into saying, okay, this is daytime again. If you have that routine, you know, every morning, your body knows, okay, it's time to wake up. It's time to do this. It's time to like, get off your ass and uh, jam, as it were, I guess. Um, but yeah, I find that if I've had a late night, a cold shower definitely helps. And I, and I, I will, even though you don't want to do it, I still do it. I don't even have, I don't even start my cold, my shower on cold. Not like I'm in the shower for five minutes on cold, although some people do do that. It's more like I will um, I'll have it on warm and then I'll put it on cold and then I'll just like put like my left shoulder in and my right shoulder in and my head and face and chest and back and everything. It's got, you know, there's benefits from like, um, you know, reducing inflammation to things like uh, something to do with your nerves, it has some benefits for your nerves and this and that as well, so anyway, if you are in a slump, I do hope that these tips help you get out, and uh, email me, I always leave my email address in the um, in the description below, email me if you found that, you know, these things are useful, and also email me if there's any topic requests, so anyway, thank you for listening, you've been listening to stuff they should have taught you in school and i was your host today mr monsui thank you very much